Happy St. Patrick's Day! Yahoo! I am mostly mutt. A little bit of Cherokee, a little bit of English, mostly German. Uh, and yeah, that's me. And uh, definitely don't look like any of that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so today I am going out to the farm. I'm going to chop a little bit, but I obviously have to work. 12 hour days have become the norm since I'm teleworking and I'm tired. Uh, however, physically, I'm like a Cocker Spaniel. So, today is uh, about doing the volunteer work that I do for the Woodchopping Festival, which includes uh, putting together letters and emails and phone calls to the sponsors so we can generate money to actually host the festival. And so, here we go. That's what I'm going to do today. COVID vaccine yesterday. No real lasting impressions. A little bit of soreness in the shoulder. Big BFD. There's a foot tulip up there. It's going to hurt a heck of a lot more than that. I'm hoping to get some fresh poles on Friday. Thanks to a good friend at the Heritage Farm, Audie Perry. Um, ironically, he's got a cousin working for him who's you going to use a tractor and help me load them because I hate to load them things by myself. Anyway, this will be fine. This one's freaking hard. Yikes. It looks hard. Um, I'm gonna go back up and cut the back now. Uh, yeah, so, yeehaw. Let's see what I can do to not look like a dumbass doing this. <sighs> session I am going to start out with a tulip poplar which is a medium hardwood uh, and then go to a real hardwood a sycamore and then go back to a tulip poplar and then finish off with a freaking black oak so um, assuming I have the energy uh, I feel pretty decent right now not as energetic as I did on the weekend so um, we'll see what happens
That was wretched. Freaking, the wood's not soft. That's pretty strong poplar compared to the other ones I've cut. And, and it's grabbing the ax. So it's almost like this woolly butt ax is too thin to cut this farmer stuff. Uh, and by thin, I mean by the actual blade itself, not necessarily the bevel. Bevel's probably 14 degrees and it's got a real thick nib on it. Uh, and I would say it's got about 10 thou hollow at least, maybe 15, probably more than 15. And so it's going into the wood and because it's firmer, it's seizing back on the ax and causing it to stick. But uh, I'm gonna cut a hardwood now, see if I can get my confidence back. Boom. Next up in the dumbassery is a full 14 inch, 44 inches in circumference sycamore, hardwood. So feeling not as energetic today as I was on Saturday. And there's a reason for that. On Monday, I worked, on Sunday, I worked seven hours. On Monday, I worked 14 hours. And yesterday, I worked 16 hours. And today, I've already worked eight hours. Um, and straight up, I'm tired. Uh, and that COVID vaccine probably is affecting me a little bit. But, you know, no excuse. I'm gonna cut the logs, you know? Life happens, and you got to be able to deal with it. That's just the way it is. One inch tulip poplar. I'm a glutton for punishment. This is stupid. Um, at best, I'll cut this log in 15, and then given that it's the same tree as that hard sum bitch, I would say 17 and 17. That's a guess. A little punchy um, that's an 11 inch tulip up there I'm gonna use uh, my thicker woolly butt axe uh, because it's got a big ass knot like right there in the back and so I uh, don't want to take a chance on wrecking a decent axe so I have no expectations with this I'm just getting swings in before I can start climbing uh, which will be hopefully next week I should get at least three or four poles on Friday uh, which will last me probably 10 climbs each because I, what I do is I start out with them regular way, which was basically the way they grow. And then I take six inches off the top of them and flip them upside down and climb them the other direction, which I never would have before, but it works.
this may be the last log of the day. It's a little 10 inch sycamore with the bark on it because you can't peel these fresh ones. And I may have a couple hits on an underhand, but I doubt it. I got to change the tires on my trailer. But uh, yeah, death by hardwood. Oh, the reason why I'm cutting a 10 inch one is because I don't have enough energy to cut a foot black oak. And so you got to adapt to your training situations. Some days you have energy, some days you don't. And the days that you do, you need to capitalize upon it and push yourself. Uh, today's one of those days that I don't. So I am going to cut something that's within my energy capabilities today. Um, and that's a freaking 10 inch sycamore cause I'm a wuss. Thing as hard as a bull's forehead.